Hey guys, I'm Tyler with Covered 6, and I'm here with Condor today to go over the new Enforcer Play Carrier. It's a patent pending product, which is based off of the old QPC, the Quick Release Play Carrier. And they've updated this thing, so we'll start from the top. They have these new removable anti-slip shoulder pads that have hook and loop guides. You can run hydration, wires, antennas, whatever you need to for there. They have a new and improved quick release pull tab to get this play carrier off you in case of an emergency. It's also ambidextrous, so you can run it on either side. We'll touch more on that later. Hook and loop panel here in the front for any identification, cool guy patches, blood type, whatever you need to put up there. Some heavy duty webbing and the new map document pocket here in the front. So now onto the cover bun. It's an adjustable cover bun that will accommodate a large to a 2X size adult. It has the heavy duty webbing on the side so you can run any pouches that you want. Also it has a built in pocket here for any soft armor. But you also have the option of purchasing our side plate insert to run any hard armor you want on the inside. So now let's talk about the back. On the back here we have the emergency drag handle. You have another hook and loop panel here for any identification markers. We still have this heavy duty webbing on the back. And also we have a back flap that covers up the quick release system. We'll talk more about that later. Now just to give you guys an idea, I'm 6'2", 180. And again, this will accommodate a large to a 2X size adult. You can fit the large bulk spear soft armor in here, as well as the large and extra large sappy plates up to an 11 by 14. Now let's take a look on the inside of the carrier. The inside you have the padded mesh lining that keeps you cool and comfortable. One of the key features of the Enforcer Play Carrier is the modularity to run other Vanquish armor system accessories such as the M4 mag insert, the side plate insert, and the zipper strip. Now I'm going to show you how to put the side plate insert inside the cummerbund. First you want to open up the cummerbund, place the insert inside there. Now depending on your side you can place this anywhere in the cummerbund that you want. Once it's in there you have the flap, secure the cummerbund, and then place the flap on the opposite side to secure it. Now this will hold a 6x8 plate for your side. Now I'll show you how to insert the zipper strip inside the document pouch. First what you want to do is you want to take the zipper strip, you want to fold it in half. This makes it easier to place it exactly where you want it. Once it's in there, then you'll unfold it and secure it to the hook and loop. Now this provides the user a little bit easier access into this pouch. Also uh, enhances your noise discipline if you're on a mission. Lastly, I'm going to go over this M4 mag insert real quick just to show you how to insert it inside the map document pouch. It inserts very similar to the zipper strip. One benefit of having the M4 mag insert here is it creates a slicker front for the user. Also, it gives you the ability to carry three more M4 mags if you want to add any on the front of the heavy duty weapon. So now we're going to go over the quick release option here on this plate carrier. So with one fluid motion, you can pull the pull tab and the whole carrier will come right off. you. This is very beneficial for any maritime operations if you're in water fire emergencies, or if you need to go low profile very quickly. But like I said, one fluid motion, the whole thing right off. Now I'm going to show you how to put the Enforcer Play Carrier back together after pulling the quick release cord. First you want to choose which side you want it on. It is ambidextrous, you run on either side. So for this we're going to choose the left side. First you want to run the cord through the channel here on the shoulder strap. Then you want to run both shoulder straps through the back panel. Once we get to the back panel, there are two connecting points. The first connecting point on the top is for the shoulder straps, the one on the bottom is for the cummerbund. The shoulder strap that does not have the cord, the quick release cord, you'll place first. Then you'll place the one with the quick release cord and you'll run the connecting point through one of the grommets. 
Now the grommets, depending on the sizing, is which one you choose. If you want it taller, you choose the last one. Shorter, you choose the first one. Now the cummerbunds, it's just like a belt system. You choose which one you want for whatever fits you. You place them through, pull the connecting point through, run the pull cord through the connecting point. Now underneath the right cummerbund is a stowaway channel point where you can put the quick release cord underneath there where it's not dangling underneath the back. After that, you will close the back panel and you're ready to go and work with it. Now that's a quick overview of the Enforcer plate carrier. If you want one, you can visit the website at www.condoroutdoor.com. I'm Tyler with Covered 6. Until next time.